subscribe now. EU debates. The sanctions have been shaped in a way that we have looked at what is necessary to modernize your economy. And we have looked at what is what are the democracies that are united with us. Basically, it's the American and uh, the European Union trade with, uh, with uh, Russia. What are the goods that mo could modernize the economy? And this is mainly technologies and it's mainly spare part. And interestingly, um, we have a very strong position what the Russian economy is concerned. If you take the oil sector, there are certain refining tools necessary to refine oil, one of the main sources of income for Russia. These tools are being produced, highly specialized, are being produced in the European Union, nowhere else in the world. So if we stop delivering these tools to Russia, it's a question of time, a few months, that you need to replace the spare parts. And if you don't have them, the refining industry, for example, in Russia is going down the drain. I give you another example, Ariel Flot, the airline company is basically grounded because they cannot update the security certificates anymore because they are missing the technologies that are coming from or have had come from our side. So they are not allowed to fly abroad anymore and they are flying partially uh, within uh, Russia itself, but mostly grounded. Lada has basically stopped the production out of these um, reasons. I told you about the military complex, very interesting to see. Another effect has taken place. We see that more than 1,000 international companies have left Russia. You see in these days that young people are leaving Russia. So it took a while till these economic sanctions unfolded their effect, but now you see it more and more. And you see, you have more and more reports, you see the cracks in the system, Russia is no more able to camouflage all that. They have been very successful in the last month with propaganda that all is fine and the economy is going on, but um, this has reached its limit by now. At the beginning of the sanction, it was mainly the financial sanctions that were obviously hitting hard. That was the freezing of the Russian central bank's assets. That came at a total, complete surprise and it was a question of hours that we did that. So just to explain to you that sometimes politics is really, it's really doing stuff rapidly. There was in one member state, we had asked all our member states, do you have assets from the Russian Central Bank? And most of them hadn't. One member state had not replied, <laughs> let's put it that way. And when they realized that we were about within the next 24 hours to, and it leaked, to freeze the assets of uh, the Russian Central Bank. They came and said, we have some assets and the Russians have announced, that was on a Saturday, that they will come on Monday morning and take the assets with them out of this bank. We have done our legislations um, at lightning speed and we were done Sunday night to Monday morning at 4 a.m. Wouldn't we have been possible to do that? Russia would have taken the assets from this member state and would have uh, taken it back to Russia. So sometimes it's really uh, tight. Another tool we've used in the financial market is the so-called de-swifting. Before the war, I think nobody knew the name SWIFT for a payment system. We just, that the payment system happens to be Belgian. Very good. So we had the tool and we could de-swift the banks. So this meant that all the payments in the trade between Russia and many others um, that is going through this certified payment system was done. So you could do your payments through email or fax or stuff like that, but you can imagine this is not amusing. And this is the way these functions have been built, uh, these sanctions have been built. I explain that to show you it's not something you just pull out of the hat and you put it on the table. Our, our, my cabinet has been working really since New Year's Eve till the 24th of February to get this aligned with the United States in detail. Thousands and thousands of goods that we've been looking at, whether they fulfill the criteria or not. 